Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the new Team of the Season Ruben Diaz to check out. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than FootCoinShop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. We're taking a look at someone who is six foot two. Medium high work rates, right footed, two star skill moves with a four star weak foot. Uh, in game player traits, this card has solid player leadership, power header. Uh, power header will be useful for people that like to uh, use that corner kick tactic. Um, I honestly don't know how to use it because I don't really like to look up stuff like that. But I mean, maybe it'd be helpful for the reviews. Uh, maybe. Guys, attributes. Uh, this card will be on a shadow chemistry style. Now, I know a lot of people will probably give them like a catalyst chemistry style. No, I feel like every single time when it comes to these types of cards, you want to be able to improve their defense to be perfect. OK, in this game, especially you want it to be as high as possible. OK, so on the shadow chemistry style, this card is going to be working with 88 acceleration at a 99 for sprint speed. But he is a lengthy player, right? So the fact that his sprint speed is already at a 99 with an 88 for acceleration should be very good to work with. Shooting on the card, he does have a 91 for shot power, which can be very helpful for that power header trait because apparently it goes hand in hand with that. Uh, the passing on the card also going to be in a fantastic area, right? 99 for short passing, 98 for long passing is definitely a W because whether I pass it with his weak foot or his strong foot, if I'm under pressure, he should be able to do a pretty decent job at all of that, right? Um, dribbling in game. This card has 99 reactions with a 99 for composure, uh, 73 for agility, 68 for balance. So maybe you notice those things when it comes to the on the ball movement stuff, but the off the ball movement stuff is what we're going to be looking at mainly when it comes to defensive capabilities. Uh, again, on a shadow camera style, this card is already in the perfect area, not area. He's perfect, right? In every single style on a shadow camera style with a medium high work rate. And then last but not least, for physical capabilities, the card is set up very nicely in that area as well. 87 jumping could present to be a problem from time to time, but obviously with him being six foot two at a high and average body type, um, it should work out well enough for this card. So yeah, we're gonna be most, mostly using this card in the defensive positions. We'll be playing some foot champs games. Um, on this account, it's actually gonna be on my Portuguese team uh, because I opened the 100K pack and ended up packing like Harry Kane and Ruben Diaz. So obviously very helpful for the player reviews, right? So we'll be using this team. People are gonna be feasting on this team. And they're gonna be looking at it like, hmm. But then your boy goes in, your boy goes in. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and review the card. Let's see what he's like. He's probably looking at my team like, hmm, juicy. Trigger, nice. Oh, nice try, Kane. Nice try. Let's go, Ruben. Good quick turn. I like it. I like it. See, that's a good test because that's team of the year, Holland, right? So we were actually able to catch up with that's Ricardo Carvalho. I've been toast. That's actually really good. He could double challenge there. Nice. Manual defending is rewarded there. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about our live coverage of the Champions Finals coming right up. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, Derek, they were excellent last Oh, time. man, the kickoff in this game is so crazy, dude. It's so crazy, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Just give me the ball, man. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay. We're good to go. Nice manual interception. Oh, 
Paul AI there does well. You guys all do the same thing. My boy Ruben Diaz was good. That was good enough though. Almost again, eh? Come on, EA. Oh, it should be mine, but... My goodness gracious, man. Uh, good enough. I don't know why I can't get challenges like when I do good ones there. I don't know, man. I did that challenge. See, that's that's rewarded, eh? Because uh, that was all manual right there. And on the menu, live coverage of the Champions Finals. How's it going to go, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual... A little bit dangerous when you don't have, like, meta defenders, eh? If that's the Ricardo Carvalho, I'm getting dusted. <laughs> I'm getting straight dusted right there, man. See what I'm saying, man? With the pace? Ooh, you need the pace in this game, bro. That's all people know how to do. Yeah, I get to that. Nice. Manual defending is rewarded. Good. Well done, Ruben. No, oh, definitely should be reaching for that at least. I got the drag touch there. We're good. Okay, Ruben Diaz got to it. Let's go. My boy Ricardo Carvalho holding up, eh? I know you don't got pace, but you got defensive animations, my boy. A very good tackle. Oh, weird controls, but just a nice little trigger works. Oh, nice. He makes up for it. Makes up for it really well there. Oh, that was a good first time pass. It could have been messed up there for sure.
Stewart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's in Oh, thank goodness. That would have been bad. I literally can't tell the difference in my players right now. It's kind of weird. defending in this game oh my goodness gracious look at that seeing exactly where he's going to pass it has to and i still don't get it control the guy and everything Come on, EA. Oh, and then I, 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 oh, this, the commands make no sense, man. They make no sense. Why is it that when I control the player, when I control the player, you don't give me the ball, and then I press triangle, right, to push out my goalie, and you have double tap triangle to push him to the side, man. Oh my goodness, dude. Thank you, Ruben. Oh, no way, man. Kick off. Oh, kick off. It's killing my eyes, man. I literally, like, it's hurting me so much. I can't tell. I, I just can't tell in the moment. When I defend in this game, I hate the, the my problem is applying logic, right? Like I'm like, okay, if I if I use the cursor on my head and I block this general area and he passes it there, then the game should automatically give me the ball. No, I'm using too much logic when it comes to defending in this godforsaken game, man. I don't know what happened there, but we'll take it. You're going to have to forgive me, okay? Because uh, sometimes when it comes to the defensive reviews, it really irritates me that the manual defending is as horrible as it is. Especially when you have the cursor on top of your head, like you're controlling that general area. And it's because of there, there's this passing mechanic, you know, when it comes to uh, FIFA where they added it to, I think it was like three or four years ago, the most idiotic thing in the world. It's the passing to avoid player thing, right? It's just so... I don't know if it's still in the game or not, man, but you notice them avoiding it, it especially when you have the cursors. Because, guys, you have to understand, man, if I... That's why when you defend in this game, if you take off the cursor and you let the AI do it, he'll he'll intercept the ball. But if you're controlling it, he's like... He's got his binoculars out, bro, looking, looking at the Grand Canyon. He's like, I don't know. Football? What is football? Happens all the time. But uh, listen, this is going to happen for the defensive reviews, okay? Uh, generally speaking, other than the gameplay sometimes being weird, because when you're tackling and the player is not tackling, it's gameplay being weird, just letting you know, okay? Uh, but, Ruben Diaz on a Shadow Chemist style, very solid option to work with, right? Uh, in this card's case, I mean, listen, there's a lot of links to work with. The main link is to the absolute beauty of a card, Bernardo Silva, okay? That triple links it up to him, uh, to... Guys, listen, this card is still great to use, man. This one right here. João Cancelo, boom, you got a triple link setup just like that with these three cards. And João Cancelo is still at 367k. You know why? Because he's actually really good, right? Uh, Diogo Dalo is a Portuguese link you can work with that's still meta. My boy Palinga is going to be coming out soon, so that's going to be a big one to work with as well. Diogo Jota, Jota I liked better in the beginning of the year because the way that the dribbling was compared to other cards but nowadays like the dribbling can be a little bit more annoying but he's still pretty decent to use uh for what it is but meta wise those options are pretty nice to work with right so with ruben diaz guys everything bounces off the card really nicely right so obviously with the 88 acceleration 99 for sprint speed on a lengthy you guys saw that one opportunity where we were up against the team of the year holland um on a lengthy and ruben diaz was able to catch up to him really nicely now i definitely can tell that I have experienced players with better pace. For instance, uh, this card does not reach the realm of Lucio Ramos, but those guys, there's like the there's like an S tier and then there's an S star tier. And that's like the S star tier, right? Ramos and Lucio, honestly, if you have those two center backs, 
they're probably going to be your center backs for the rest of the year. No word of a lie. Okay. No word of a lie. Cause those two guys are absolutely crazy, but yeah, it's great to work with a four star weak foot. The six foot two height at a medium high work rate is great. The physical is great. Jumping again, you will notice from time to time because of that corner kick tactic. I'm telling you, having players that are in the 90s for jumping is very helpful to avoid that because the guys, they do the tactic so quickly. There's nothing you can do, right? So you can either pull out your goal here, but they do the tactic so quickly that you really have nothing else to, uh, to really do. But listen, generally speaking, I would put them just below that tier, right? Uh, very good card. I have reviewed the Varon card, which I'm going to be putting him up soon here. Uh, I like Varon more, right? Varon is uh, Daddy Long Legs. Uh, you know, Manny calls them Inspector Gadget for a reason because this guy just warps, bro. This guy just catches everything. It's it's insane. It's insane. You guys know how I felt about the Winter Wild card. That card, you'll see the review for it as well. But I enjoyed the card. I thought it was great. Even when the gameplay was being really rough, he was uh, he was great to use in my opinion. It's just. When you're tackling and the game plays rough, they just don't do it sometimes. It's it's really weird, okay? But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.